It's so good to see you again at Wilderness Escape. We're here on day three. And here I'm in the Sunday school room. And you, if you've come to Sunday school here at Trinity Lutheran Church, you probably have spent some time in this room. And maybe you learned a lesson. You learned something about God's love. You learned something about what God did in the Bible. This is a place of learning. And when we have knowledge about God, we have a certain strength. We have a strength inside of us. God can use that knowledge to give us strength so that we know what God wants us to do, so that we might know where God wants us to go in our lives. So today, this week, we're learning about Moses. And you had two days now where you heard different stories about Moses. You heard about his conflict with the Pharaoh, and you heard about him getting to the promised land with the Israelites. And in both of those stories, you heard how God took care of Moses and the Israelites. So we're going to praise and worship our wonderful God who guides and provides us and provides for us all our lives. Probably, I'm hoping, before you did this, you started out your VBS morning by singing God Will Guide Us. The link for that is on our Facebook page. You can watch that video and you can do the motions with your families. And I want to put a special challenge for your mothers and fathers. I want you to get your mothers and fathers to do the motions. You know what would also be really cool? If you get their camera, maybe their camera on their phone or of any kind of thing that can make a video, I want you to make a video of your parents doing the motions. Send them to the church and we'll put them on our Facebook page. And I'm sure your parents will appreciate that an awful lot. All right. So yesterday, we learned that God did something amazing for his people. God gave them exactly what they needed. Yesterday's Bible verse told us that God knows exactly what we need, even before we ask him. He knows everything about us. God helped Moses and his people long ago by providing manna and quail. So today we also have a Bible verse. Today we learn that God gives us strength. So trust God. Can you do that with me? God gives us strength. So trust God. That's today's Bible point. We'll learn about a time when the Israelites needed to trust God to give them strength. The Israelites weren't mighty soldiers or powerful warriors. Moses will tell us about the time God gave his people strength to beat an army. And not Pharaoh's army, another army. Wait, I think I hear them. Do you hear it? It's getting louder and louder. Remember what I said on Monday? The sound you don't want to hear? Stomp your feet with me. Go ahead, stomp your feet. And get your mothers and fathers to stomp their feet. And now we're going to slap our thighs, okay? It's the sound of an army. Please make sure your parents are also doing this. Let's do it a little bit more, okay? Stomp your feet and pat your thighs. The sound of an army. You don't want to hear that sound because it means they're coming to attack you. Well, the Israelites had to trust God to give them strength to transform a scary situation into a good one. Let's try an experience of having strength to transform this room. Everyone sit down. Sit down. And listen for the quiet. It's kind of quiet in here. Not much happening. While you're at home, I want you to find somebody and shake their hands. Then each of you two will shake the hands of other people. So you're like this, right? Now maybe you don't have enough people at home and that's okay. But shake hands. All right, now hold those hands. And think about how you can be connected to somebody through that grabbing of hands, through that holding of hands, how that connects you to them, how that makes you stronger because you're no longer just one person, you're two people united, connected. So 
So I want you to now stay where you're standing and start clapping. Let's stand up and clap, everybody. Because when Moses was scared, when that army was coming, what God did, when he, he united his people, he brought them back together and they could celebrate. So let's clap. Everybody clap again. Yay, God has done it. God has united us with each other. God has joined us to each other. And because of our strength, which is really God's strength, we can do anything. An action figure right here. If you've ever been to my office, you see I have a bunch of these. And this is Iron Man. Maybe you know who Iron Man is and maybe you don't, but he's a superhero and he has a suit of metal armor. A suit of metal armor. Now, Iron Man is a fictional character. You don't have armor, I don't have armor, but we do and our armor is God connecting us to each other, making us stronger together than we would be if we were by ourselves. That's like an armor for us. So today, we have a Bible memory verse. It's Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. It says, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. We have strength to do everything through God's Son, Jesus. And we remember that God gives us strength. So trust God. Can you do that with me again? God gives us strength, so trust God. So what you're going to do now, you're going to sing There's Power in the Blood, which is linked on our Facebook page, and you'll do the motions with that. And then you're going to go through your booklet with your parents. And remember, as you read today's story on day three, God gives us strength, so trust God. God. Have a great day, everybody.